In London this week, the prestigious Queen's Club opened its doors to the tennis world. I love the, the energy of the, of the city, uh, especially when it's uh, a good weather like this. For me, it's one of the best cities in the world. I, I like the fact that it's just it's in a club. A lot of the tournaments we play are kind of pur purpose-built, you know, tennis events. It's always an amazing uh, place to play tennis here. Uh, the grass is, is just perfect. Uh, they change a little bit the stain. It's going to be great for the fans. Uh, always enjoy to come back here. The tournament is constantly looking to improve. This year was no different, with an expansion of the centre courts welcomed by fans and players. Uh, walking through the grounds uh, the other day, the first thing I noticed was uh, how much it, it has expanded. We've added 2,600 seats to our centre court. We've really completed the bowl. So when you stand on the steps of the clubhouse, whereas previously on the left-hand side, there was quite a, a small stand. There's now the big stand we have there. Once again, Queen's Club also received the ATP 500 Tournament of the Year Award, voted for by the players. Queen's is yet again named Tournament of the Year. Away from competition, Andy Murray met a young fan, Callum, diagnosed with a brain tumour in 2012. After intensive treatment, he's now in remission. And with the help of Starlight, Callum's wish to meet his idol came true. Back on centre court, Murray was the victim of a major upset. Lucky loser, Jordan Thompson, beat the defending champion in the first round. Beating a world number one a Grand Slam champion, um, him beating him at, at Queen's uh, first round on the grass, it's, it's definitely the, the biggest win. The early stages were full of shocks, with 2014 runner-up Feliciano Lopez in full flow against second seed Stan Wawrinka. The draw was being shaken up, and right in the mix were several next-gen stars. Yeah, obviously uh, Queen's is very famous and one of the uh, nicest tournaments out here. Uh, you see all the champions that have won here and uh, you know, it goes back from Boris Becker to, to Andy Murray last year, so it's amazing to be a part of such a historical event. It's a great week, I think, to play well and uh, to try to perform. Stefan Kozlov defeated compatriot Steve Johnson in the first round. While Denis Shapovalov took down home hope Kyle Edmund. But the biggest shock came from next-gen Aussie star Thanasi Kokonakis, back from injury and fighting fit. It's, it's massive. Um, obviously a really good feeling uh, to be such a good player in such a nice tournament and venue. Um, again, after so long out, it's, uh, it's a good, good cherry on top for all the hard work I've done. With such a mix and an open field, there was all to play for on the English lawns of Queen's Club. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, there's added excitement in Eastbourne as Novak takes a wild card. And all eyes on Antalya. Dominic team helps welcome a brand new tournament to Turkey. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, now on Bixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.